How's y'all's days going? Good, glad to hear it. So, 7.20 in the morning. I was supposed to be at Travis's house at seven. I felt bad, I was a little late. Just a few minutes late. And uh, yeah, so he's still putting the trailer on. It's not a big deal, whatever. But now I've been outside here of his house for the last 15 minutes waiting on him. This is what it's like just living and working with Travis. I don't live with Travis, but working with Travis, That's this is what it's like. Yeah, so I'm sure today's going to be just crazy memorable day. Um, just for the sole fact that it will be with Travis and we will forget something. Fingers crossed we find some sign because that will make this whole drive over here worth it, you know? Bro, I almost caught that one. Not a big spider web guy, huh? Yeah, something's been laying there. For sure. Uh, we walked like about 20 yards off the, off the road and uh, we found a couple acorn trees. There's a uh, acorn trees <laughs> dropping that wood corn. Wood corn. But uh, now you're just making up words. <laughs> we'll uh, we'll keep you updated. We're gonna keep walking. See if we can find some uh, good good spots to set up. But it's pretty deery out here. I think. It's pretty deery. Gotta have big acorns for big deer. Say it again. You gotta have big acorns for big deer. Okay. So we walked past this earlier. It did not have any of these. It did not, excuse me, it did have some tracks in it, but it did not have that or that. So, or that. So they're 100% in here, but what doesn't make any sense is it's going the opposite way. Based on what we were thinking, we think the deer come from this area, come back this way to feed now this may say otherwise. I don't know. This has got deer going that way. That is an awfully big one too. So we might be, we might have a spot. We've been walking for what seems like forever. Found some good stuff, pretty good stuff. Looks like some bedding, lots of food, a couple, couple walking trails. I think uh, we're gonna have some good spots for potential good shots. A lot of. Could have some open range, long range shots if we wanted it. We uh, found a little open food plot looking area and uh, walked around it for a little bit. And then we found this trail that looks like it's traveled daily. I mean, there's no steps on it right now, but it is pretty worn out. There's a few, there's tracks back here. Yeah. It did just rain like a day or two ago. But uh, this trail right here leads to a bunch of other trails and I think it's got lots of potential. So Jeez, big potential guy. You'll see us on this trail. Big here. potential so, guy. Um, but we got to get where the people don't want to go, right, Travis? Right. We got to get where people don't want to go. Where the big, big daddies are. Where the big daddies are. Travis about killing a big daddy. Swamp donkey. So yeah, 
found a trail that leads to more oaks. Um, it's super hot. It is 9.30 now. We got to walk all the way back to the truck. Sweating through my shoes. Sweating through his shoes. You heard it here first. Never heard that one before. For y'all that don't know, uh, we are challenging our new guys, Jordan and Justin, to who can kill the first deer on public land this year, which won't be that hard for those guys because I think they've done it before. Me and Travis have only ever duck hunted on public land. So we're trying to figure it out, trying to figure out all the rules. Um, Get a jump on the uh, competition. Yeah, jump on the competition while Jordan and Justin are probably home asleep. Can't kill deer, can't have success in the bed. That right? That's right. So yeah. So make sure you uh yeah, like, subscribe, do all that good stuff. And uh make sure you use our code KCO20 on the Huntwise app. That's how we've marked all our stuff today. Is on the Huntwise app. We're gonna go back, kind of study our stuff, check it out, and use the Huntwise app in the DeerCast to basically tell us where to put the stand. So that's where we're at. Until next time.